Okay, we are here at the end of the road where Libby, Liberty and her baby were first spotted by Tammy Brown, who is standing right here behind me. Uh, Tammy first spotted Liberty out here back in July, and she didn't know that she had a baby at that time. So she's going to give us the story, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what all happened in this uh, in this video. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more, Tammy, about... Hey, Kimberly, will you please share this video since you're on? Share it um, so that people can know the status of what's going on. Okay, so this is the road that goes into phase two of the Wolf Ranch development that is now being, you know, all the uh, construction is now starting in this phase. And so Libby, Liberty and her baby are probably running very scared. Now, this is where you first saw them right here? Yeah, it was in July and I was doing a U-turn at the end of this road and our headlights were right on her in the corner here. And I didn't see a baby at, at that time. And then when she leaves the pond, she comes to the end of this road and walks right off into what used to be all trees and weeds and grass and whatnot. But as of a week ago, they started excavating what is going to be phase two of the neighborhood. So this is going to be phase two of Wolf Ranch, a 700 acre subdivision. Beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful place. But it appears from all of the evidence of barbed wire fencing t posts and gates and whatnot on the perimeters of the subdivision but this of course used to be a cattle ranch it looks that way and it's quite possible that liberty got left behind and was pregnant and now you know this is all the only home she knows so we are uh hoping very much that we can get these babies rounded up and uh hopefully to the sanctuary very soon we just want to stay on top of this story and so a while ago you were talking to me about the animal control um right. situation can you tell us a little bit more about that so we can well he wanted to set a trap and he said he would have to sit outside all night with the trap so that it wouldn't get taken and they the people in the neighborhood disagree with that idea because it won't look very good when you're trying to sell homes right so they disapprove the idea of setting a trap and instead came up with the idea of the cowboys and they had four I saw four uh, two days ago two went in one direction and two guys on horseback went in another direction I talked to them personally and to my knowledge nobody found her um, like I said, she only comes out at night. She's really afraid of people. If you literally get out of your car, she will get up and walk away. And she'll nudge the baby. If the baby's laying down, she'll nudge the baby to get up. And then they just disappear into the woods. But these woods are becoming more and more sparse for her because the excavation has started on phase two. And when I first spotted, him, spotted her in July, I wasn't worried because I thought the people that live on the farm behind the neighborhood owned her, they would figure out she uh. So it's not, nobody has claimed her, nobody has reported her missing, and that's why they haven't been too worried about her. And we've got, as we speak, a cement truck coming into the area that Liberty and her baby call home. And this is the problem with this situation is that this cow, this mama and her baby are in very, very much danger. And we've got to get them, uh, we got to get them uh, loaded up and figure out how we're going to get them out of here. It's going to be difficult. It's not going to be an easy situation. So, okay, so about this trap, can you tell me more about what he was talking about? He just wanted to set a trap and try to get her to go into it like a corral. Uh -huh. And I don't even know what it would look like. He just said it was big, heavy, like aluminum type gates. It's probably like a, some, some panels and a shoe or something. But, yeah, and yeah. he said he would have to sit out with it all night because he didn't want them to be taken. But that idea got downplayed yes. and they said, well, we're just going to go with the cowboys because that just would not look good for the neighborhood. Okay, well, we are reporting live here at oh, Wolf, the main road. Wolf Ranch. That's the main road coming right into... Where the green powder potties are, right behind it. What, cars. The main road to... Like, right out of the neighborhood. That's how close she is to the road. Oh, and that's how close she is to the road right there. Just less right... than a week ago, she was right by the road. And less than a week ago, she was right by the road. Okay. Well, we are reporting live at Wolf Ranch. I'm so glad I got to meet Tammy before... 
she before I headed out today to go to see the cows and the horses and the pigs at Rejoice Ranch. We're so excited about that. And we are we are believing that Sheriff Chody and Williams Williamson County Williamson County. Williamson County is going to be cooperate and do whatever we can to work together to find Liberty and her baby a nonprofit home where they can live out their life in peace. And of course we would love to have them, but just wherever they go, we want them to be safe. Peace out.